and a welcome back to the great greenhouse welcome to the fall renovation guide for 2021 now it's ridiculously hot out there here today we had a high of 42 with 98 percent humidity so here's what we're going to do we're going to try to make this as brief and simple for you guys as possible so you guys can understand the best you can and get your fall renovation done quickly and simply starting off for those of you who are new here my name is wade murray i worked in the lawn care industry for over three years Today, I'm going to be teaching you how you're going to take your lawn to the next level. How you're going to get your lawn from weed filled, thin and thin and you know, all these other problems to, to this lush lawn that I have out here. I'm going to teach you how you're going to do that in these simple steps that you can do all in one day here coming up in the fall. So if that is something you are interested in, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button down below and leave any comments in, in the comment section with any questions you have after you finish watching this video. Now let's get into the guide. So first of all, for those of you who don't know what a fall renovation is, fall is the best time to do anything when it comes to lawn care. It's the best time to plant and grow a new lawn up here in the north. So anywhere pretty much between the Midwest, United States, north, fall is the best time to do things. Because our spring season is so unpredictable, we actually had a really dry spring this year. It's best to do things in the fall. Our fall seasons are quite predictable. We get a lot of rain, a lot of moisture. The dew every morning helps keep your seed wet. And that is why fall is the best time to do things. Now, most people think that fall doesn't kick off to sometime mid-October. However, when it comes to lawn season, you need to have everything planted and fully established before your first frost. Now, for us here in Southern Ontario, our first frost date is about Thanksgiving weekend, Canadian Thanksgiving weekend. That is second weekend of October. That's pretty much when all of my mowing stops here. So we're getting close to the six week marker where we're not gonna have enough time to plant our fall renovation. Our fall renovation definitely on this side yard here, as you can see, we're having lots of problems. Our fall renovation over here is going to be starting within a couple of weeks. So without further ado, let's get over what you guys need to do for your fall renovation. Okay, so let's keep it as simple as possible. There's two types of fall renovations that you can do every year. And this, and this is determined by a simple rule. If your lawn is more than 30% grass, 30% or more, then you are going to do an aeration overseed. This is the renovation that I've done for the last four years that really helped take my lawn to the next level. And trust me, if your lawn has is full of weeds, it's full of crap, but there's at least 30% natural grass in there, then you, this will work for you. This renovation will do years for you. It will push the weeds out. Those new grass cultivars, the old ones will eventually die out. My lawn's mostly new cultivars now, and it was planted sometime in the 90s, so it has a lot of Kentucky 31, those older cultivars in it. As well as, if your lawn is full of weeds, once your lawn is strengthened and irrigated and is very self-sufficient, it will push those weeds out itself. So this will not be a concern for you if your lawn is full of weeds or attacked by disease. My lawn pretty much fights disease, fights grubs, fights everything without, as long as I properly irrigate it, it's perfectly fine. The second type of renovation is a full kill down. So this would be uh, right now, as soon as this video is released, you need to get out and spray Roundup on everything. Glyphosate, you're gonna kill everything back. You're gonna wait about two weeks and you're gonna scalp everything down. You're gonna kill any areas that have greened up or any weeds that live through the first glyphosate treatment. Then you're gonna wait a couple more weeks after that. About Labor Day weekend, you're gonna do some top dressing, fill in any low areas, um, and then you're gonna overseed the whole thing and you're gonna do an aeration there as well. This is gonna give you a full, completely stand new lawn. I'd only recommend doing this if you have major leveling issues that you need to take care of or if you have a lawn that is less than 30% grass. So if your lawn is just full of weeds, all your grass is dead, then might as well just do a full renovation. Now, for those of you looking into sod over seed, you can sod in the fall. In fact, it's the best time to do. However, the best time to sod in the fall is actually closer to mid-October. When the frosts are coming and that grass sod is actually dormant, that's the best time to sod. It requires minimal to no work if you sod then. Your sod will be fine and will get taken up with all the snow melt in the next spring and your sod will come in perfectly fine the next year. Now you can sod about early Labor Day weekend. I did a 1500 square foot sod job for my neighbor last year. I did about Labor Day weekend and it turned out great. The little minimal watering just a couple weeks in the beginning of September, then the dew and everything carried through through October and it looks amazing this year. I'll put up some pictures up here about what it looks like last year this year. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about a full mow down fall renovation. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get Roundup. You're gonna put it down heavy all over your entire lawn and your weeds and you're gonna kill everything back. You're gonna wait about a week to two weeks for things to begin to die back. Then you're gonna take your lawnmower, you're gonna drop it down to your lowest setting possible. So all the way down, you're gonna scalp it off. You're gonna collect those clippings and you're gonna rake out, dethatch the lawn with a rake to get all that thatch out so you can get your soil contact. And a good thing might be to do in this before this step is to actually water your dead lawn. This will allow the weeds that are dead to start to green up and allow you for your second application of glyphosate that you're gonna put on about late August second to the second last week of August you're gonna put that on this way you're gonna be able to kill everything and make sure that all your weeds are dead and they're not gonna come back next year then after you've done that you're going to move on to the plantings time you're gonna get an aerator you're gonna aerate the lawn both directions this way and this way this way you're gonna poke a lot of holes then you're gonna get your spreader, you're gonna put down your seed heavy at about 12 pounds per thousand. Secondly, when it comes to grass seed, I do recommend buying elite sod quality grass seed. You can get it from your Pavely Mart or your local farm supply store or your local landscape store. Now these sod quality varieties are guaranteed weed free, as well as they're definitely, they're, they're higher, more tolerant, value, more drought tolerant, more disease tolerant, and they're better with nutrients. These are just better all around varieties. As soon as I put this on my lawn, it made a big difference. Finally, when it comes to that renovation, you're gonna put down that seed heavy about 12 to 15 pounds per thousand. This is gonna make sure that you're gonna get a good, thick, full stand of grass. Now you're gonna to need to wait. This is the most important thing about fall renovations is waiting. Normal grass seed takes about two weeks to germinate. Now on top of this, Kentucky bluegrass takes about 24 months to be fully established. This is about two years. So you can expect amazing results right away. You, if you're doing an overseeding project, you have to be able and willing to wait out. Now at the same time you put down your seed, you're gonna put down starter fertilizer, 16, 16, 16 at three pounds per thousand. Then in about a couple weeks, well, you're gonna put down your winterizer fertilizer two weeks before your first frost. So last week of September, this is gonna help push the growth of that seed again and help put it to bed with a nice full stomach for the winter. Next spring, you're gonna follow my fertilizer program and this is how you're gonna establish that seed. Normally in about six months, you should have a, a fully decently established lawn that you're able to play and enjoy with your family. Now, I hope that helps you for those of you looking for the complete mow down and restart option. Now we're gonna talk about the aeration overseed plan that I would definitely recommend for most of you. This plan works a lot better than that mow down start over option. And this is the plan that I'm gonna be recommending for almost everybody. So as I said, this plan works as long as your lawn is 30% grass. As long as there's 30% grass in your lawn, this plan will work for you. So what you're going to do, you're going to rent a mechanical core aerator, an aerator that pokes mechanical cores in the lawn. You're gonna cut the lawn one setting lower than you normally do. So if you normally cut your lawn at four inches, you're gonna cut your lawn at 3.75. Then you're going to go and rent that aerator, and in one day, you're gonna aerate your entire lawn in both directions, this way and this way. And if you really wanna get crazy, you can aerate it three times in three different directions. You're gonna poke mechanical cores in that lawn, lots of cores, open up the soil, allow the moisture to get back into the soil, allow the soil to be loosened up, allow you to level any really uneven bumps you have, as well as this, it allows your seed and your fertilizer to get down in those cores and help fill out your lawn. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna rent seed, you're gonna put it down about five to six pounds per thousand. That's an that's a, a overseeding rate. You're gonna also, as I stress as much, get the elite of varieties of grass seed. They make a big difference in my lawn. As soon as I overseeded it with elite variety of grass seed over the Scott stuff, it made a huge difference in the results that I see when I stripe the drought tolerance, the disease tolerance. My lawn has barely been watered this year. As you see, I just have the sprinkler going over there and some of the dry sections, and it makes a big difference. How I can tell you, elite variety of grass seed changes the game. So definitely get, the, get that. Then, as I said, you're gonna go get a starter fertilizer, a 16, 16, 16, or the 3808 that I recommend from Pavely Mart. Then after that, you're gonna put the seed and your aeration, your seed, and your fertilizer down just after you aerated instantly. You're gonna put these down together. The seed's gonna help fill in within two weeks. As I said before, it takes two weeks to germinate um, and then you should be able to uh, go on it heavily within, within a couple of weeks. The seed should become fully established within six months before the winter comes. 
Now, the big thing about this and the aeration overseed that everybody talks about is when can I mow my lawn? I just overseeded it. Now my lawn's ridiculously overgrown. Don't let your lawn get ridiculously overgrown. I work for a lawn care company. We did this all the time. And let me tell you, we stuck to our regular schedule of mowing this lawn every week, every time we did it. And we still saw amazing results. So just because you're mowing your lawn, it's, it's fine. Just all you need to do is get on and get off. Don't be doing any fancy striping patterns. Don't be doing any three point turns. Just get on, cut it straight or whatever. Cut it however you can with the least amount of turns and get off. Don't be having big parties on your lawn just after you aerated it. Just mow it, but just go. Just go and enjoy the mow, but just get on and get off. Don't be doing anything crazy. That's how you have, it won't damage anything. Now for those of you who are doing a complete new seed, as I talked about, getting on and getting off is a little bit more difficult. But for aeration, overseeding, get on and get off is definitely there. Just mow the lawn as normal. You're gonna cause more damage by letting things get overgrown than by getting on and getting off and cutting things down. So the final step of that aeration overseed program is your winterizer. Same as last time, you're gonna put down a 16, 16, 16 or a 30, 08 about two weeks before your first frost and that's the end of that program. Your aeration results will be amazing. And trust me, this lawn was a complete disaster before. All we've done here is aeration overseed. Never did a complete full renovation and it makes a huge difference. Late fall, your lawn's looking great. You're getting great stripes. Trust me, it does work. That's what I suggest for the fall renovation program. This is the most successful program. It works every time. It's my renovation program. And for those of you out there who have done it last year, it's not bad to do it again. I'm going to be doing an overseed on my lawn this year for probably for one of the final times. Um, but doing it year after year is not the worst thing in the world. It's not the end of the world. It really won't hurt. Finally, let's talk about watering. This is the most important thing that I see with overseeding and regular seeding that causes the biggest problem. When you put down grass seed, that grass seed must stay moist for the entire time it's there until it germinates then it must be watered regularly. You cannot let this seed dry out. So this means that as soon as you put down your grass seed for two weeks, you need to water every day. You don't have to water for your regular hour every day. In fact, it's better if you water 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, and 10 minutes in the evening, because that will keep your seed wet all day. This is the most important thing. You wanna keep your seed wet all day so it can germinate. After the seed is germinated, after the two week period, you're gonna to move to watering every other day and you're gonna up to 20 minutes in the morning, afternoon and evening. And you're gonna keep this up for another two weeks, watering every other day. After that two weeks, so for a full month, then you can switch it back to your normal watering schedule and everything should be fine. The seed should take off by itself. You shouldn't have many problems. Folks, this is the most important thing. If you put all of your money into elite varieties of grass seed, lots of fertilizer, lots of air aerating and renting an aerator, but you don't water, your renovation results will be awful. You'll throw everything away. The aerator is the most important, or the watering is the most important thing of the entire thing. Make sure that you can spend the money and water. And if you can't spend the money for an aerator and watering at the same time, you're better to spend the money for a watering over an aerator because the watering will make sure your seed grows. If you don't water, your seed will not grow and you won't see good results. That's it folks, that's the fall renovation guide for 2021. I will be doing one on my lawn here coming up in a couple of weeks. I will definitely make sure to record that as more of a procedural video for those of you who are visual learners and need to see it before you know what I'm talking about. I'll definitely record that. I'll also have linked down in the description my video from last year where I did the exact same thing and got amazing results. So from the Great Green North, my name is Wayne Murray. I hope this video helped you. As always, especially with fall renovations, guys, this is the season you're gonna be able to turn your lawn around. This is the season you're gonna be able to make the big difference. And trust me, it goes quick. This lawn season's almost over, guys. But this makes a big difference. The first year I did this, noticeable difference. The elite grass varieties makes a massive difference and your lawn will never be the same again. So from the Great Green North, my name is Wayne Murray. As always, leave any questions you have down below. I would encourage you guys to do that. And as always, keep it green.